Uh, thanks again, Dr. White, for being here. I appreciate it. Um, really just what you believe to be the credibility of or lack of credibility of a couple of things I've seen on Christian websites. One specifically um, referring to uh, Muhammad's first wife, that she was a Catholic nun sent no. by the Vatican to corrupt. Baloney. Okay. I'm good with that. Was that, was that, it? Was that a clear enough? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good with that. It's on several of them, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff out there. There is a ton of it. And this other one also might be a, a bit off, but uh, there's a story that says that Muhammad said that Allah was the same as Asherah, the moon goddess, and is the same goddess, and that's why they use the crescent moon as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, there is, there, 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 there are, Christian apologists who have promoted the idea that Allah is the moon god. Um, I, I don't find any, uh, any solid foundation for that. I've heard it debated a number of times, and in my opinion, it's always lost that particular debate. Uh, Muhammad certainly never made any statement along those lines, uh, uh, certainly not in any of the recognized sources. You'd have to really stretch things for that. So uh, there, there's no reason to go that direction. The, uh, the real issue is to compare the God of the Quran with, the, the Quran tells the, us, the al al Injil, the people of the gospel, to judge by what is contained in the gospel. Uh, I think there's some really strong arguments to be made for a person who knows the Quran, uh, to at least get a person to start thinking about the relationship between the Islamic scriptures, because they come afterwards. And they, they when you look at the Old Testament, and then you look at how the New Testament has such an intimate knowledge of the Old, and then allegedly the Quran then is the fulfillment and the protector of all these, and yet it never quotes these things. The only thing it quotes in the Old Testament is the lex talionis, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, et cetera, et cetera. There might be a quote from the Psalms, but it's very highly unlikely. That's it. There's, there's no other citations of, of the Bible. The author clearly did not have any knowledge, and he thought that there were all sorts of things in the gospel that were actually in much later Gnostic and semi-Gnostic Gospels. So um, that's really the real issue. That's really the real issue.